Well, if there wasn't a national party, I wouldn't be in politics. Uh, I don't believe uh, in any other party. I believe the nationals, as a party which is 100% focused on rural and regional Australia and remote communities, is the only party I could ever represent. Uh, we're, we're the specialists. I'd love to see the day when anyone who lives outside the city recognises the nationals are the specialists for country areas. If you live in the country, if you live in rural, regional, remote Australia, you back the specialists in country politics, which is us. I back the nationals because they back regional communities. I'm, I'm absolutely passionate about the future of our party. I get to when we lose seats and I get extremely happy when we win seats and it's a, it's a silly thing I know but I'm very passionate about making sure that the Nats uh, not only hold what we've got but flourish into the future and I think we're on, we're on the cusp of even greater results for our party and I'm very confident over the next 10 and 20 years we'll see the Nationals win more seats and have even more influence uh, in the parliaments right around Australia. My, my dad was a school council president, uh, involved in a whole range of community activities, you know, involved in the athletics club with me, so they had an interest in us as kids growing up. So I, I think that you absorb that uh, in, in your own in your own approach to life. So my my sense of uh, responsibility, of wanting to be part of the community, of wanting to give something back, uh, probably came from my parents more than anyone else. One of, the, one of the greatest things I've done over the last couple of years is coaching a junior footy team with young Aboriginal boys alongside my boys. You know, that's. That's, um, that's real. That's not, that's not just you know, standing there talking about Aboriginal disadvantage, that's actually helping these kids, uh, giving them leadership, so that when they see me down the street now, they don't see some you know, white guy in a, big, you know, in, a, in a flash suit. They say, oh, that's, um, that's our footy coach. I can talk to him, I, he's a normal person. So I think yeah, that's what you get from your parents. You get that, um, uh, I don't know, the sense of value of community. Like a lot of young blokes, I couldn't decide between the Test Cricket Captain of Australia or the full forward for my footy team. And then uh, an appalling lack of ability made it very clear to me that neither career options were open to me. So I got involved in journalism and I sort of fell into getting involved in community life because my parents were involved in community life. I got, got involved in business and tourism association and sporting clubs. And at the same time I was having a bit of a political awareness and awakening if you like, that I thought you know, regional Australia is getting the short straw compared to the city and I sort of fell into my involvement with the Nationals through the way they were trying to get a better deal for rural and regional Australia and that, and that led me to working with uh, Peter Ryan and the leader of the Nationals in Victoria. And so in many ways that became an apprenticeship for me. It, it, it taught me about uh, representation, it taught me the importance of getting back to people when they raise an issue with you, uh, it taught me about going out and listening. Uh, it's a reason we've got two ears and only one mouth. We get out there and listen twice as much as we talk. It's a really good, good approach for a Member of Parliament. And you hear the concerns from your community and become uh, more aware of issues that perhaps I hadn't been exposed to before. Oh, look, I think everyone who grows up in a regional community is passionate about their community. We choose to live outside the city because we love living outside the city. And I was working in, uh, in, in, in politics behind the scenes as a grassroots member of the National Party and became more and more interested in, in the way that the decisions were being made. And then the opportunity came my way to actually run for Parliament to actually stump it up. You know, if, you, if you say these things, you talk about these things, well, one day you've got to back it up. You know, rural, rural and regional Australia makes an extraordinary contribution to Australia already. With a little bit more assistance, with a fairer share of government resources, our contribution will be even greater into the future. And that's what drives me and gives me my passion uh, for rural Australia. I would love to see us really deliver uh, a better policy outcome when it comes to young students uh, attending university from regional areas. I, don't, I just don't think we've got it right. It shouldn't be that hard for a kid in country Australia to get to university to become a doctor, to become a lawyer, to become an engineer. Right now, the cost barriers that are in place are very difficult, almost insurmountable for some of our families. I think we can do better in that space, and I think it's the Nationals who are going to have to lead the way. So you, you can't tell me that city kids are smarter than country kids. So if they're not smarter than us, how come so many more city kids go to university and go on to achieve careers in those fields? Now, I'm not saying university is the be-all and end-all, but if a country kid wants to go to university, we should be able to help them get there, and I think the Nationals are going to be the party that makes the breakthrough uh, on their behalf.